This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, we are at data 19. Woo! Hello to everybody. But I'm going to show you how to create some spatial joins and why you would need to do these. So this first graph here, we have all the crimes in London for December 2018 with their individual latitude and longitudes. They are coloured by their lower super output area. So for example, this one is Redbridge, then we have Waltham Forage, but each one of these has its own little code at the end of it. So we, to be able to aggregate this up, we would have to create a calculation, which then um, gives you just back the Waltham Forest for the, for the beginning bit of the LOSA name. Whereas we already have a data set that's from the London boroughs, which already has the individual names of each section on here. And this is as a shape file, which is a um, spatial file that you can download from the internet. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to merge those together to be able to get the number of crimes in Redbridge. As you can see over here, there's 2,091 crimes. So how do we do this? So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create the other two charts. So I'm just going to double click latitude and longitude and we're going to put in the uh, crime type in here. And in fact, we're going to just um, go to analysis and untick aggregate measures. We're going to show all of them on the map, minimize the size down, and we're also going to put LOSA name onto color. So now you can see all of our individual crimes, which is great. And I'm just going to show you the shape file that we have. So the shape file has its own geometry field. If you double click on it, it'll bring this whole London map as a full shape file with the breakdowns of each of the different regions. Now, if we add name onto color, you can then add all members and see the individual breakdowns of all of those um, individual segments. So the final thing now is to actually do a spatial join. So if we go to data source and I'm going to go to our number three data. Now I have already created an extract for this because otherwise it would have took too long to uh, run because of how big the file is. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a spatial file and that spatial file is coming from this folder and it is the SHP file. And we click open. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use the make point feature which is a new spatial feature from Tableau. Now make point we have already covered before in Tableau Tip Tuesday but it gives a point based on the latitude and longitude. It just creates its own geometric a spatial point. So we hit OK. And now what we can do here is we can click on geometry itself, but we can change this to intersects. Now what that does is every single point of crime that intersects within that border of geometry will then match to that specific border. Now, I'm just going to hit cancel on that and go to our pre-populated extract. So now again, if I hit geometry, and I put the name onto detail. You can see that's all broken down by each individual section. Now, if I put the count distinct of crime ID onto color, you can see this automatically breaks down into our crime areas. And you can see the city of London is actually quite relatively less crimes compared to Camden, Westminster, Lambeth, and all the surrounding areas. Hope you enjoyed and enjoy data 19. See you next week. Bye.